uh, guys in this session we are going to discuss about the aws services and uh, how to create the cluster or how do we create certain instances in aws what are the services we do use mostly and uh, how to access the data that is stored in aws s3 storage service so all that stuff we shall try to discuss so we know that aws is one of the again like gcp uh, it is a uh, the most popular cloud services okay the cloud services provider amazon web services okay so like agc uh, like gcp google cloud platform even aws has many services okay many services uh, so among them there are computing services are there storage services network services different services are there okay so the only thing is first we need to create an account for it so already i have an account for it uh, so let me just show you how do we use that what are services that we have in aws and uh, how do we see them and how do we access them just let me show you that just go with aws console and it will ask for signing into the console in the right top we will have the sign into the console if the already account is created okay and i uh, need to provide the password here yeah so it is going to open my account yeah this is one guys okay so this is the dashboard that is going to show in the beginning okay, this is all stuff information about uh, what you call as some advertising kind of thing and uh, if you want to see what are all the resources or the services that are provided by aws okay so here we have something called as services okay can you see there's a left top uh, so just to concentrate on my cursor guys here so here you have services here just if you expand the services you see these are list of all the services that are provided by aws compute services you can see here under compute we have ec2 light sale ecr ecs likewise these are all the computing services that are provided by aws these are the storage services s3 efs ffx s3 glacier storage gateway and database services dynamo db elastic cache blockchain satellite and these are the big data tools actually here we have analytics right this is analytics and here we have athena emr kinesis elastic search service these are all the big data services guys mainly okay remember this and these are different other services guys there are many many services are there some 60 to 70 services are there so depending upon our need the client need our uh, requirement we choose a particular service here okay now among all these for our discussion we are going to use the storage the cheapest storage this is the cheapest store storage that is available on aws that is uh, low cost cheapest instance low cost low cost storage provided by aws is s3 okay you can see there s3 s3 stands for uh, so we are going to see the storage service we are going to use the storage service here that is called as S3 so which is the short name for uh, acronym for simple storage service okay, simple storage service this is uh, the uh, cheapest or low cost service low cost storage service so most people use uh, this and this will be used uh, you know what uh, for most of the applications in aws remember guys here most of the applications for most of the applications in aws uh, the staging area we can say that the staging area where the data can be staged the data can be staged is s3 remember that this is the uh, widely used widely used and the most prominently used storage service for all the computing services in aws remember okay for i am repeating the statement just try to understand here for all the computing services that are available and rdbms services warehouse services for all these services 
the only storage that is going to be used predominantly is s3 remember that okay so if we have any data if we have any data try to store the data into s3 okay so s3 is uh, like uh, sdfs it is distributed and uh, you know fault tolerant storage system uh, distributed in the sense that data will be distributed among multiple machines and fault tolerant in the sense that data can be replicated the data can be replicated okay uh, so we call s3 as a file system okay uh, so not sorry s3 hdfs is a file system right it is a file system but we do not call s3 as a file system but instead we call this as object storage system uh, the the reason why we call it as object storage system is the data is stored in the form of objects so we'll understand what is that is uh, so remember that it is not a file system purely that of hdfs but it is distributed as well as fault tolerant and everything whatever the features that are provided by hdfs everything is provided by s3 also okay but it is native called as a object storage system okay fine and in this uh, let me show you that so this is a s3 service so i am just going with this s3 service and uh, these are all the services that I have used recently you can see here these are all the services that i have used recently so it will show the list here otherwise you can choose if you want to choose a new so service you can choose from here okay this i'm going with s3 here yeah so in s3 uh the primary uh layer you know the higher layer of storage of data is a bucket guys remember a bucket uh, if you take any operating system uh, any operating system in linux or anything uh, windows or anything we the primary uh, you know uh, the high level data storage is a folder okay or that directory a folder or a directory right so in that we'll have again directories or uh, folders or files so directory and files so the first layer uh, layer of storage would be uh, file or directory uh, sorry folder or directory in that again we'll have some folders or directories and files too likewise in s3 the primary or uh, high level uh, storage layer okay the object that is called as a bucket remember so the data is stored in s3 in buckets the data is stored in s3 in buckets okay so what is the bucket is simply a path or a link like an uh, you know like a folder uh, it is a path you can say that it is a path or location in s3 so generally what how the data is stored is the data is stored in buckets the data is stored in s3 in buckets in the form of buckets so what is an object is a bucket is considered as an object guys here it is, it is not called as a directory or anything but it looks same as directory only but it is called as a bucket okay so under this bucket uh, we will have uh, uh, what you know directories uh, that is called as folders and files everything okay so directly we will not have a directory or files we call it as a bucket so under that bucket we can create directories and files whatever we want okay so just let me show here so this is the bucket i have created already some files park input okay and uh, in this uh, we can create a certain you can see here create folder is there here okay if you want you can create some folder uh, if you want to upload some data you know uh, in my local machine if i have some data let's say uh, some data in my local system if I want to upload the data to s3 I can do from here upload I will show that you see here upload uh, and uh, add files and this is my local file system uh, this is my machine you know 
and uh, if i want to upload any data i can just upload by clicking on this you can you can say upload so this data will be uploaded to s3 and you can see this the file here and this is one more file so uh, likewise we can create a directory and into that again we can upload some files or directories whatever you want is it clear guys it's very simple to understand about s3 uh, it is a simple storage service where uh, the primary uh, layer of storage of data would be in buckets okay and in the buckets we are going to have directories and files so uh, we can we, we cannot create that means we cannot create a file directly here we cannot uh, write something here the only thing is we can upload we can upload some data to this and uh, at, the, at the same time we can also download some data if we have any data in aws uh, s3 we can also download it if you want to download this file, uh, just, just choose this file and uh, we can download as or we can have download directly here. Okay, that's a way that you can, if you want download, you can use it. Fine, guys, is the, uh, do you have any questions in understanding this S3? And uh, one more thing I see here, here you can see is region we can see that uh, region every cloud service you know gcp or aws or azure uh, they have certain regions you know they have certain regions uh, where the instances or the storage you know the services will be created for the users or consumers or customers okay uh, so uh, as we are in hyderabad sorry in india uh, this Mumbai Asia Pacific Mumbai is the closest region to us. Okay, so when we use these services, the data center that is available in Mumbai is going to be used for us. It is going to be allocated for us. So which will make the data in and out, the data transfer and the request, you know, response and everything will become faster. Instead, if it is stored somewhere in other country, uh, it is better to choose a region that is nearer to us. Okay, so I have chosen Asia Pacific Mumbai. So while creating a bucket, we can choose all this. Okay, I will try to I will try to show you create a bucket here. Create bucket. So you can enter the name of the bucket here. Some by spark <coughs> input two, or I call it as output. So this is the bucket name I am giving here. Region we can select the region here from here. Where do you want to have this bucket to be created? In which data center or in which region? So I'm choosing Asia Pacific Mumbai. Okay. And uh, this is not required guys here. Copy settings from already existing bucket. If, the, if there is already existing bucket is there, if you want to uh, copy the same configurations. Here we have four steps here. Configure options, set permissions and reviews. If you want to set the same permissions or same settings to the uh, newly created bucket from the existing bucket we can choose from here so this is already created bucket we have here otherwise you can uh, choose new settings okay uh, i'm go with new i don't choose that next uh, so certain options are there here don't worry about all this just let them uh, be as it is uh, let, let us go with the default value just click next and uh, next and finally create bucket this is going to create a bucket for us now that is called as uh, PySpark output is it created mm, let me see hmm, what's wrong it not created guys here one second did we do any mistake here? PySpark output. Mumbai. Let me just create here directly itself. Yeah, it is created. Sorry. Uh, it's, uh, it, is, it has taken some few seconds to create it. Uh, and this is the bucket you can create. Again, uh, you can choose this bucket and you can upload files or you can create folder or whatever you want. You can do. Okay. Is it clear, guys? Do you have any questions regarding this? You can choose here. So you can see how many buckets are created two buckets and uh, those two buckets are in the same region that is only one region okay